apps. Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I sort through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. This is the Daily Appster for April 22nd, 2011. Today is pretty crazy with the free apps. I have a ton of them. I'm going to start off with Mini Rocket. Mini Rocket. And this is a game. You control a rocket, obviously. You start off on a launch pad, you just move upwards, and you're trying to get as far as you can. You have to dodge planes, you have to grab more fuel, you have to grab coins. You can use those coins to upgrade your ship, make it more fuel efficient, make it more resistant to damage. That's that's basically the game. I mean, you're trying to upgrade your ship and get further and further. It's pretty addicting, it's pretty awesome. I definitely recommend Mini Rocket. Next, I'd like to talk about Ricky Carmichael's Motocross Matchup. Ricky Carmichael's Motocross Matchup. This is a motocross game. It's a universal app, and it's in like a full full 3D. You're matched up against other players. It's like an online sort of matchup system. You can play like practice rounds and that sort of thing, but generally you play against other people. You're just trying to finish the race first. And as you go, you can collect these golden wrenches, and that allows you to upgrade your bike. You can get a new rider. There's all kinds of crazy riders. You know, there's like ninjas and zombies and cowgirls. I don't know. The controls work really well. I can't help but recommend this. Ricky Carmichael's Motocross Matchup. Next app I want to talk about is called Discover TV. Discover TV, and this is a universal app, and I don't know how long it will be free. This is by the same people that made that Lost Worlds nature films that I talked about a few episodes back. It had about 11 IMAX movies. This has seven Discovery Channel movies for free. It allows you to watch these, stream these over Wi-Fi or 3G, and then you can also download them to watch them later. So check out Discover TV. Next, I'd like to talk about I Dig It. I Dig It. This is a game. You control a drill. You have this big drill machine, and you're digging into the ground, and you're mining for ore. Your machine has these rockets on it, so it can then propel itself out of the holes that you're digging, and you'll just basically upgrade your drill, you'll sell your ore at the base, and then you'll go back down and find more ore. You'll upgrade your drill, make it more fuel efficient, make it tougher. It's very well polished, very pretty to look at. You know, you've got, like, your actual gauges and dials there on the side, and they look they look like... They should look. They're pretty cool. I definitely recommend I Dig It. Next, we have a -a freeappaday.com app called Chop Chop Caveman. Chop Chop Caveman. And this is a platformer where you're collecting diamonds on these levels. But you're jumping and you're fighting and you're smashing through walls and that sort of thing. The controls are kind of weird. It's all a tap interface. So you'll click, you know, up and to the right if you want him to jump in that direction. Or if you just want him to walk, you'll just, you know, hold to the right. If you see a guy you want to hit, you'll just tap it. If you see a wall you need to bash, you just tap it. So it's you basically are just tapping around. The art style is really cool. Uh, I recommend Chop Chop Caveman. Next up, we have Play It Yourself. That's uh, one word. Play It Yourself for iPhone. And then there's actually uh, Play It Yourself HD for the iPad. And what this is, is it's a tutorial, I guess, on how to play sheet music for the piano. What's awesome about it is it shows the sheet music, it shows the notes, and then it also has the keyboard there. The keys that you're trying, that you're needing to press are lighting up as you go, so you don't even really have to know how to read sheet music, you can kind of just play the piano. I find it's it's a lot easier on the iPhone just because there's a lot less going on the iPad. You've got more space, and they take advantage of that. You know, they want you to really go for it. They even have the option of uploading your own music to this. Seems like that would be a pretty intense process, though, because you have to deal with the sheet music and everything, but it could be really cool. It's kind of like a guitar hero, but a piano hero. If you want to learn some music, check out Play It Yourself. Next up, I'm actually really excited about Lorax Garden. Lorax Garden. This is the Lorax from the Dr. Seuss world, and he speaks for the trees. 
And actually, in this app, you're going to be saving the forest. You're going to be regrowing the forest. This, this app's for kids, but I did play through the first area, and I probably will go back and play some more. What you're doing is you're growing trees in these big tree pots, and then you're also growing flowers, and you're just repopulating these forests. And it's all done really well. It's all, you know, Dr. Susie. Very pretty, very cool. I recommend Lorax Garden. Next app is Universal. It's called Notebook Ninja. Notebook Ninja. You play as a little drawn ninja on these notebook pages. You have all kinds of awesome abilities. You can throw ninja stars. You can evaporate and sneak up behind a guy and cut his throat. And what you're trying to do is take out some soldier dudes on the other side of this notebook page. The graphics are really cool. It's all black and white. It's just like some kid was drawing in his notebook. It's, it's very cool. If you're into ninja gameplay, check out Notebook Ninja. The last app I want to talk about is called Pixel It. That's two words, Pixel It. And this is a kind of camera application, kind of a photography thing, where you can take a picture or you can take something from your photo library and you are able to make it into pixel art. You, it just pretty much breaks it down and puts it in a very pixelated form of itself. Works really well. There's all kinds of sliders that you can change, like the sizes of the pixels. You can change black and white. You can do color. There's just a, a lot of options here. If you're into pixel art, this is the app for you. That brings us to the always free section of the show. This is where I talk about an app that is always free. And today I want to talk about Urban Spoon. Urban Spoon, and that's one word. This is something you're going to use when you're out and about, more than likely. You are able to see what restaurants are nearby, and there's actually slot machine style reels that you can lock in place, say, you know, well, Southeast Austin, and I feel like, you know, Turkish food, and I only want to pay, you know, so and so much money, and you'll, you know, you can hit the shake button, and it'll pump out. Just a random restaurant in your area that meets those requirements. So I, I really like this. It's definitely one of those things you'll bust out whenever you're, you know, just looking for a place and you can't figure out where to eat. Urban Spoon. Check it out. I'd like to thank Spaginice for leaving me an iTunes review. They say, love the show. I'm kind of out of the app loop, so it's great to listen to your show and get the rundown on all the free apps I need to get. That's why I'm here. That's what I do. I gotta keep you in the app loop. Thank you very much for that review. You can follow the show and find links to all the apps I've talked about at TheBigSkillet.com. If you'd like to email me for any reason at all, you can do that at TheDailyAppster at gmail.com. And I'm on Twitter at Twitter.com slash TheDailyAppster. Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps. (laughs) 